Welcome back to another episode of Nessus. Now, in the last episode, we got our settlers geared up to fight the evil's protector, and we defeated him. Today, we are going to the Snowy Bomb to complete our quest, as well as get better gear, and we are going to work on a storage room. I did realize between this episode and last episode, apparently we can gear up the Elder as well. I did not realize this at first, so... I want to get him some nice gear, I'll probably just keep him as melee, because we only got one other melee guy for defending this area. Now before we get started, I did come to a conclusion with my compost bins here, so yeah, I decided to just go ahead, add a dew until 100, so now they won't bother using these until a fertilizer here is below 100. Which, as you can tell, that's going to take a while. To be completely honest, I'm probably just going to end up selling all of it, because we don't even have a farmer that can use it anyway. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started on our adventure. To get ready for our little adventure, I am going to be bringing Lindsay the Miner with me to the snowy biome. Mainly because I think a ranged weapon would be the best for support, and she has a gun. And I also didn't set up anything for her at the settlement, so she's not really required there. Now let's jump on over to the snow biome. That is a really small island. Is this all the island is? A few little trees? Gotta be the smallest island I've ever seen. Well, because of the small size, I'm gonna be calling this island Snowball Island. <laughs> Look at that. Let's get down here. We got a little dungeon thing right here we gotta go do. I think I'll save this for later. I can't imagine bringing... Lindsay down there would be a good idea. Now we've already found a spider area which is nice which means we can already get the quest completed. In fact I see some spiders down- oh be careful one of the eggs are right there. Do not hit that whatever you do. I'll let her take care of the spiders there. I do not want to accidentally hit that and summon the boss for this area. It seems like she has pretty good aim so I'm just gonna trust her. Oh oh crap okay Retreat! Retreat! It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Get out of there! Okay, she teleported back. It got too much for her. I don't blame her. That was a lot of guys. We did get our quest item, though. So that's good. While we are here, I need to get the frost set, which I need it for everybody. So I'm going to need a lot of these frost shards I got. Which I got from that little shooty guy that was in the ground there. I could probably get that from somewhere else. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, that is the current plan. We need to get the frost set for everybody as well as frost weapons. Because that'll be a nice upgrade for armor at least. Weapons, I'm honestly not sure if they'd be better than the demonic stuff. I didn't look that up. I'm just going to get enough for it and hope that it is. Let's light up this area. Oh no, I already ran out of torches. Maybe I should go back and... Turn in the quest and get some stuff for torches. Hey, well, we're here. Since the miner did go back, let's go ahead and do this little thing. Okay, this is different. So it looks like it's just like one big puzzle thing. Rather than like multiple little things you gotta go through to get to over here. Let's see what this is like. Okay, you gotta memorize that. And it goes, does it go away? I'm assuming this goes away, right? It's staying there. Okay, I'm gonna assume I don't have to memorize it. Otherwise, I am screwed if I do. Okay, so when you start, it starts going away. Kinda gotta align yourself with that. That'll work out good enough. Oh! Oh, and it went away. Okay, that's not good. I wasn't paying the best attention. Now, when you fail to complete this little puzzle, the door at the top does lock and you cannot proceed throughout the rest of the trial here. Oh, is this only open if you do it the right way? Oof, so you do have to go back to the beginning and start over. Now, I'll admit I'm really bad at this one and it took me a lot of attempts to actually complete this first bit. There we go, we completed it. That wasn't her. That totally didn't take me a long time. Embarrassingly long time at that. My brain can't concentrate over here and here at the same time, I guess. The next half wasn't so bad, but for some reason this first bit, it took me a long time to get it. Thank goodness that one was much easier. Okay, we got new magic item. Might be useful for me. Oh, that would be nice for me. Make me a little more beefy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head back home. We're going to turn in the quest here. And I'm going to come back and we're going to grind up a bunch of these frost shards. Now, after getting our torches ready, we had a new settler show up. And he was about to make the town a whole lot more fun. Do we want to get high? Do we want the alchemist to join our settlement? 
Introduce drugs into the economy. How much do you want? Oh, I don't know if I have that money. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to get high. Okay, perfect. So we had to invite him and build him a house. Don't do drugs, okay? Now, while we were building the house for the alchemist, we actually got a pretty cool mask. Hey, that zombie there had a Halloween pumpkin mask. And he dropped it. Look at that. We're ready for the winter and we're ready for Halloween. I'm just going to wear this the rest of the episode, I think. But after all those distractions, it's finally time for me to head back to the caves and start grinding the frost armor again. And off once again, the Snowball Island. And so far, none of the other zombies wearing pumpkins dropped them. I hope it's not like a one-time drop thing because it would be funny to have everyone else running around with these on. Yeah, let's jump on back down here. Hopefully things go a little more smoothly this time. We need the frost shards and that's about it. Wow, they're just sitting there and letting you hit them. And you keep attracting the attention of all of the spiders. You don't have to shoot everything you see. You're really good and helpful for this, actually. Like, sure, you're a little trigger happy, but other than that, you're actually pretty useful. Oh, oh, look, the snow cavelings, they carry those shards I want. Oh, that's perfect. And hunt those guys down again. And we got them. Nice. We got 12 in total. That's going to make farming these up a lot easier. Just got to find those guys. So all in all, the caving adventure was quite a big success. And I got to say, bringing one settler with me made it really well balanced. Like, sure, there were easy parts, but there was also really hard parts where we barely made it out. So all around, pretty well balanced experience. Now I will say, make sure you pack your settler enough food because they will abandon you if you don't pack enough food for them to eat. Now for collecting the ice shards, there's a few different ways of doing it. There is mining, killing the cavelings, as well as those little ice turret guys but with our little caving session wrapped up it's time to head back get all the armor together and thankfully we were actually able to get a few more pumpkin masks by the time this is all edited up halloween will have come and gone but to be fair i've seen christmas stuff in the store since before halloween so why can't halloween go into november happy spooky november everybody and now with the mining out of the way, it is time to get started on the crafting room. So what I'm going to do is basically within this area here that is highlighted, I'm going to make a room that is that size. Put a bunch of chests in it because this is the area that the crafting table is able to reach and pull items out of the inventories of the chests and stuff. So that is the plan. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. As you can tell, there's been a new update throughout this video. It's taken me quite a while to get this video done i've been procrastinating a lot over the last little bit yeah it's november 9th by the time i'm recording this bit now i need to figure out where i'm gonna throw this thing otherwise this might not be out till december i decided to put the storage room to the left of my settlement because that is between both the tree farm as well as the crop farm so my settlers don't have to walk that far to like put stuff away save them a little bit of time so they can get some more work done and after a ton of tree chopping as well as organizing I got my storage room to a good enough spot that it could fit everything that I currently have into it. All right, so the storage room is all organized enough for my liking. As I play through the game, I'm sure I'm going to get more items that I'm going to have to go through and go in here somewhere. But yeah, I got a little tired of waiting for my settlers to go ahead and organize it, so I did kind of help them out. I basically dragged everything over to this chest here, which I have set to a normal priority and I allow all items. This way, you know which items need to be added into your system. You can also use that as a overflow chest as well. So if something gets too full, it'll also end up in here. Always nice to have that. But anyway, I need to go ahead and get this whole area filled up with chests. That's going to require a lot of tree chopping, which if I wait for my settlers to do it, that's going to take forever. So I'm going to do that part myself. Alright, so I think it was 31 more chests. Bomb broker is leaving, thank goodness. Hammer's getting out of here. There we go, the storage room is complete. Now half of these chests aren't set up to have anything in them. I'm sure most of them probably won't by the end of the series, but whatever, we got the storage space in case we need it. And I'm just gonna dump all this stuff in here and my settlers will deal with that in the morning. Now I'm sure most of you probably know how to go through and like organize everything, but just in case, Basically what I did is like for this chest here, it has like all my oak stuff in it. It's going to be oak wood and just all the like wood paths, all that kind of stuff, all the oak cabinets and stuff, all that will be thrown in here. All I did was type in like oak and I just went through and 
put everything I wanted to put in here and disallowed everything else, basically. I also went ahead and I set everything to high priority, so not the highest. I'll be honest, I can't remember why I usually do this. There's a reason why in my last Let's Play and I don't remember why right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything at the thing below highest in case I ever need the highest priority for something in the future. Yeah, I pretty much went through and I organized everything like that pretty much for everything. So this is just deep sandstone and regular sandstone. I don't think I put the walls or anything in because I don't think I can see those recipes. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, well, I can see them, so I guess I can add them. It's a long and kind of boring task, but gotta do it. But yeah, I'm just gonna do it the lazy way, slowly work on it until nothing else shows up in this chest. But anyway, with the storage room all set up and ready to go, I think that is a good place to end it here today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Till then, have fun everyone.